have been engaged in building leadership across the continent of Africa. But as we have seen success, and we've also seen some challenges, it's becoming obvious to us that if we want to change Africa, we need to break the cycle of bad leadership understanding and promote good leadership understanding and practice amongst the youth. I remember once I was uh, in a country and I was speaking with one of the cabinet ministers of the country and I was very excited. I was sharing with her what we were doing and how we can help transform the country. She listened to me, she observed my enthusiasm, and then she thought she needed to speak some reality into my life. And she said, my brother, the problems in our country are systemic. The challenges of corruption are not only in relation to a few people in particular sectors, the challenges of corruption in the country have permeated all aspects of society. And there was no way in her mind we were going to see transformation easily. She said, if you really want to help my country, then turn to the youth. Now, she said that. Many other leaders in different countries said that. And that led to the formation of the Young Leaders League. The Young Leaders League brings the same principles of new leadership understanding and practice to the youth who are in their teenage years. And when the youth get this training, our vision is to see a lot of them transformed into a new breed of leaders. And the idea is that when you have a lot of youth embracing the principles of transformational leadership, embracing integrity as a value, we can talk of breaking the cycle of bad leadership understanding and practice and beginning with a new generation of young leaders, future leaders, who will actually help us realize the hope for a new Africa. To help us develop the young leaders, we have designed what we call the Leadership and Development Studies Curriculum. Now, what is important to note is that the designing of this curriculum was a continental effort. It involved educational experts from across the continent, uh, government ministers from across the continent, and other professionals and Christian leaders. We were able to put together uh, a development of uh, ideas, a development of uh, resources and approaches to leadership that were a direct response to the challenges facing the continent. And the large curriculum is now being tested uh, in the country of Cameroon. And uh, I've had the privilege to visit with some of the young ones who are going through the training, and we are seeing the impact on their lives. And uh, it is our hope to expand uh, this initiative amongst the youth to other countries in Africa uh, in the year 2012. And uh, I am looking forward to being able to see hundreds of young leaders across the continent uh, in every country who are true believers in a new Africa, true believers in a new approach to leadership, and young leaders who embrace the value of integrity.